So if you remember, primary and condition reinforcer, the difference, right? So primary reinforcer, this is unlearned, right? So it happens naturally. Uh, one that satisfies basic biological needs, such as hunger, right? So a primary reinforcer is something that you have to have to survive. So like food, water, things like that. Condition reinforcer, also known as secondary reinforcer, this is a stimulus that gains its power through its association with a primary reinforcer. So an example of this is money, right? So you buy food with money, right? Food is the primary reinforcer. If you're stranded on a deserted island with a million dollars, well, that that doesn't do anything for you. Maybe you can burn it for some, some warmth, but yet you can't live off of that, right? Because it's not a primary reinforcer. All right, so primary reinforcer are things you do naturally. It's unlearned. It's things you need like food, water. Condition reinforcer are things that are associated with the primary reinforcers like money, grades, things like that. Because right? grades can get you a good job, which can therefore get you money. All right, two important theories to know. The first one is token economy. Right? Token economy is a therapeutic method based on opera conditioning where individuals are rewarded with tokens which act as a secondary reinforcer. Right? So the tokens can be redeemed for a variety of rewards. We'll talk about this again when we talk about therapies and treatments because this is there's a whole like set of therapies that are based off behaviorism, which is based off like positive reinforcement. This is one that is used. The other theory to note is uh, the pre-MAC principle, and this is the idea that a more preferred activity can be used to reinforce a less preferred activity. Right? So if you want them to do something, think about like a child or someone who's misbehaving, you give them something that they would prefer more. Right? So they, they're doing this, maybe they're misbehaving or whatever it might be because they want to, but if you give them something they want more, then they're more likely to do that activity. Right? That's the pre-MAC principle.